to quote Byron, uh, history is the devil's scripture, uh, absolutely. But at the same time, it is an understanding, or it allows one understanding of how societies really operate, how governments really operate. And I'm not talking about being cynical here. I'm talking about being realistic. Um, and and uh, and so I try to imbue my students as much as I can with a critical mindset to to in, to engage them and encourage them to be critical uh, as much as possible everything and not to accept any of the potted versions of history and and also understand that there is good and bad and everything and everybody uh, and but nevertheless some things are better than others. Some systems are better than others. Uh, and uh, the historical record is full of examples, as well as examples of glorious failures of what might have been, and that didn't work out. But then what lessons could have been learned from that uh, going forward? And what else can we learn about ourselves as human beings uh, and our tendencies uh, to and go... How, how receptive are your students? Do you challenge them to look at history critically, critically, critically? I do, and, and I are hope... Are they receptive to that? Are they, I hope so. I think they are. Uh, every now and then I'll come across a paper. Maybe I should say more often than not, I, I will have essays or, or comments in class which demonstrate that one is thinking critically. So, for instance, uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, uh, 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 the point was, was made that no one should ever... Uh, think in conspiratorial terms. Uh, no one should ever invest in any notion of a conspiracy. Cons if as soon as you go down that road into conspiratorial thinking, you're going to go off the deep end. This is crazy. This is madness and should be avoided. And I said in class, absolutely right. No one here should ever, ever think uh, in conspiratorial terms or that a conspiracy is behind this or a conspiracy is behind that. But as soon as I said that, and I do believe that adamantly. I also said, but some of you will remember that just a year ago, uh, the news broke that several of the major supermarket chains in Canada in 2018, the news came out that they had conspired to fix the price of bread for 10 years. <laughs> so yeah, you should not invest in conspiracy theories, but that does not mean that conspiracies don't happen. Uh, and so the important point is to always be critical about the information that is coming forward and not to accept uh, automatically any particular stricture or dogma or, or, or bias as being always, always, always correct. It isn't always.